program. Now let's start this bulletin with matters sports and Kenya's Harambe Stars will this evening face Algeria in the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations tournament in Egypt. The Stars will be playing their first match in over 15 years. Let us now speak to our sports reporter Moses Wahisi who is in Egypt covering the tournament. Good afternoon Moses. It's great to see you. My goodness, what do we expect tonight? What is the feeling like in Egypt? Suddenly one huge match there that we are all waiting for but what do we expect trust me grace you've just said it's great it's great to see me and you also added my goodness so actually that has also given me a reason to smile because i have a plenty of reasons to smile while here in egypt there is a lot of action and today we expect harambe stars for the first time in 15 years to go on the pitch and they will say officially they are back in the most beautiful extravaganza in terms of football in Africa and that is the Africa Cup of Nations 2019 edition. There is a lot that is expected and I know we were on the other side of the pitch where the action will be taking place and when you think about the action the first game for Harambe Stars will be against Algeria but we will also be having different game in Group C altogether and that is the Algeria game against Kenya and also the Tanzania game against Senegal. Right now let me speak to a colleague of mine here but now from Senegal who is believing is called Diallo and is believing that maybe Senegal will have what it takes to go all the way and bag this title. Diallo, just tell me a little bit, do you think that Senegal has a chance to win Africa Cup of Nations at 2019? Why not? Why not? Why not? I think that now uh, Senegalese team are, is very, very strong, have many good players. But not football is not only good players. Senegal is not the favorite. The favorite for me is Egypt. But Senegal is something like maybe he can do do it outside or something like that. But Senegal is now yes they um, they have chance to have very very big team. Okay. Uh, speaking of Group C, what do we expect from this uh, Group C? Senegal, you will be starting your game against Tanzania. Not that easy. Thinking about Kenya, they are also hungry and they want to star. Do they also have a chance according to the Senegalese journalists who are around? Yes, you know f football is very open. If you know yesterday Uganda beat the FC. It's something like that. You know, in the Europe, Islam, Iceland beat the others. You know, football everywhere in the world, people play in football. Kenya, Kenya players are, are in Tottenham to play the final of the uh, Champions League. Most of the big, very big um, competition in the world. So that is very, very, you are very, very uh, prudent, something like that. You will very carefully. Senegal is a very tough game today of Tanzania because the Tanzania player may be of Samata. People know who is Samata, but the other people don't know. They want to express themselves to to watch, to have chance to have to to go outside of Kenya, uh, Kenya or uh, Tanzania, something like that. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, that is uh, Diallo, is a journalist actually uh, from uh, Senegal, and you can hear he's saying that he knows the tournament will not be easy. Senegal, they have a mission. They want to win it. They also know how to play in the World Cup, so maybe they will replicate that experience uh, when they play in the Africa Cup of Nations uh, 2019. So that tells you it is all pressure and all pressure. There has been some undertones about the current state of all the fitness of the players in Harambe Stars because uh, some people are just speculating and saying maybe there is one very important player who's injured. So let me not go into the details before I confirm that and be sure Katie and Scotland will be there and by that time I'll have the official re report if all the Harambe stars in camp are fit. But remember this is the 30 June stadium. Other called it the Air Defense Stadium because the Air Defense decided to build this facility and this is a facility that we will be using to see the group matches go ahead. But at this particular time I am in the media center so expect this place to be full after around three hours because we will be seeing what exactly will transpire in all the other matches so we will be here we will be letting you know what exactly is transpiring but for harambe stars there is some update that we will be giving you in a little bit like one hour when robinson okenya goes in studio with katie and scotland so do make sure to stay tuned and we will be covering this Hope you're fine. Sure, Moses. But before I let you go, you're the expert here. You know matters sports. So it would be wrong of me to give any predictions while I was speaking to you. So what is your prediction, um, uh, Moses, ahead of tonight's game?
Uh, talk about tonight's game. Not an easy game, Grace, I will add, because a lot of people are talking about this Algeria side and the kind of experience they have in continental football. But think about this Algerian side in depth. It is a team that, yes, they have been able to play in Africa Cup of Nations for quite a number of times. And they're saying that they are playing in a region that the temperatures will favor them. Maybe that one will be able to give them an added advantage. But yesterday I was speaking to the Algerian tactician and he said we are not big wigs in this tournament. He said that all teams need to be taken with a lot of seriousness. Think about Arambe Stars. Does Arambe Stars have anything really to lose in this tournament? Sebastian Minye will say no. Captain Victor Wanyama, I spoke to him yesterday and he also said no. No pressure to the Arambe Stars camp because the pressure was wildly wanted to qualify and be at this stage. So for them, I know they will be taking these matches with a lot of ease. At the same time, they want positive results. That is a simple mission. Sebastian Minier on his side is saying, no, not all the way. It is a hard battle that we will try to deal with properly, but you really cannot say what we should expect. But let me tell you something, Grace. It will not be an easy encounter, but at the same time, Harambe stars, they are not pushovers. Defensive-wise, we have seen what actually happens. We defend quite, quite in a proper way. Maybe that one will limit the Algerians from scoring those goals, but they have players, big players. Think about Rihad Maris. And for him, he's saying that I know Kenyans also are coming here with a simple mission. So for me, a tight one, let me not go either way and say the result. But at the same time, remember, Kenya against Algeria, very, very tight. Tanzania against uh, um, Tanzania also, they will be in action and for Tanzania they will be playing against the Senegal, a team that a lot of people are saying have what it takes to go all the way and back this tournament. An easy match for Senegal, a lot of people will say no. Tanzania also, they are dreaming and they want to dream big. So today's matches, Grace, tight matches it will be and anything at any particular time might happen. Maybe goals will be there but I don't see plenty of goals in today's extravaganza. Certainly, Moses, in your own words, anything might happen, but we sure do wish Harambe stars the very best. Thank you so much, Moses, for he's there coming to us live from Cairo in Egypt, of course, ahead of tonight's match between Harambe stars and